IPL auctions are coming. Let's understand what Mumbai Indians and Rajasthan Royals need exactly in the auction. Who are their target players? What are their requirements? What is the template that they have right now? In this very simple video, once you're here, please do click on the subscribe icon. Let's see Rajasthan Royals first and then quickly move on to Mumbai Indians. This is the template of Rajasthan Royals. I really feel sad for Rajasthan Royals because they made a blunder, if I have to put it in that way, by spending close to 10 crore in getting Avesh Khan from LSG. I'm really not sure about the auction price, but 10 crore is what my assumption. They have close to just 14 crores left. And if you look at the squad, it's very thin, it's very, it's very vulnerable. You have a lot of abundance of pace bowling options in terms of Indian unit. Like Sandeep Sharma is probably sitting outside, Avesh Khan, um, Kuldeep Sen, Navdeep Saini, and in have you have Prashit Krishna. Why to, I mean, is it a test match that you are going to play that you have this much of Indian Pacers and there is no replacement to Trent Bolt, so you need someone over there and there is no replacement to Ashwin Chahal, you need someone there and there is no kind of big replacement available for Josh Butler, you need some player over there. I mean, 14-13 crores is not going to be enough. Why did you make that blunder, Rajasthan Royals? I really feel sad for you. But if you have to ask me who their target players are, it's just that they need some international good player over there in the middle, probably Steven Smith, Harry Brook, Darry Mitchell. I mean, these are the names that I can think of. Obviously, in the end also, they need someone really good to be a backup to Trent Bolt, but who's available with this 14 crores left. They have to look for someone like probably Lucky Ferguson, Jail Richardson, Kane Richardson, or some other player who have done good in the, you know, like big bash out of thing. Around like 6-7 crores is they can afford. But this squad is very vulnerable and hard time in IPL 2024. Moving on to Mumbai, before that, please do click on the like icon and subscribe if you haven't yet. And this is what Mumbai's template is. Pretty much decent squad with the addition of Hardik Pandya. Even though I'm not aligned with that and being a Mumbai fan personally myself. I mean, <laughs> keeping that aside, okay, this is the template that they have. And if you look at, they have replacement to Ishan Kishan, they have replacement to Tilak Verma. They have a replacement to Pius Chavla. They have replacement to Jaspeet Bumra in terms of Akash Madhwal. They have to look big uh, for one foreign pacer, probably around 10 crores, 12 crores. Gerald Kotze, Lockie Ferguson, Spencer Johnson, because they really can't afford for star car comments. Some, all the other teams are going to take them away. If Mumbai can find him one player over there to assist Bumrah over there, it's it's just a great deal for them. And they have obviously Jason Bahendroff as a backup to them. And Mumbai Indians also might have scouted some, some quality unknown spare spinner in the auction that will come into picture. And a replacement to Hardik Pandya is also something Mumbai would have scouted. And then they might be planning for that. But apart from that, a decent squad. It's just that... If they're able to click one foreign pacer properly, and if that foreign pacer along with the fit Jaspeet Bumrah is delivering, I think it's yet again a season for Mumbai Indians to conquer. Leave in your thoughts and predictions about both these teams before you sign off. These are the other videos that we have already made. Please do check that. Follow and stay connected. Share with your friends.